Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another video. If I look like I've had Botox or something, it's just because my ponytail is like extremely tight, just in case you think that. <laughs> But I have a really exciting video for you guys today. I decided to do a video where I've gathered all of the like best questions to help you figure out what you want in your life. And I used to struggle with this a lot when I was younger. I'm currently 27, I'll be 28 very soon, in a few weeks actually. But I used to struggle a lot with this in my early 20s. Um, it wasn't until around 24 that I really like found out what it is that I want to do. But again, after figuring out, it took me another couple of years before I actually started like taking action on these things. So it's definitely a process, but I want to give you guys these questions because they really help me figure out what I truly want and like be able to dream big and just have no limitations in like what I want in my life and really get the best life and live my dream life. I mean, obviously I'm on my way there. I am just getting started, I would say. So yeah, I really hope that this video will be helpful if you are in a similar situation or you just don't know what you want in your life. So the first thing that you can ask yourself is what did I enjoy doing as a child? And I think this is a great question because when we are children, we are not um, constantly like thinking about responsibilities. We're not thinking so rational. We're thinking more with our hearts and what we truly want. So if you take a look back at what you were doing from like age zero, which you probably don't remember, but to age around like 14, I would say, the things that really made you feel fulfilled or excited, that was the real you before all the the responsibilities came on you, all the thoughts from other people, before all of that kind of went into your head, because it's natural, that will happen to all of us. That's why we are so confused, I think, when we grow up, because we are torn between what we really want, which we probably already know deep down inside, and then torn between the other side, where we have that part of us that's not really us, but it's like, learned from other people's behavior or other people's wishes for us. And if you don't know what you were doing, you can also write down how you were. Were you very like quiet and more, you know, reserved? Were you more outgoing and playful and all those things? So moving on to the next question, which is who am I really jealous of? Whose life do I look at and just think like, wow, I wish that was me. I wish I had that life. I wish I, I don't know, looked like that person. I wish I had her hair. I wish I had her relationship, something like that. It doesn't need to be the, the person's whole life, but try to think of a person that you like envy the most. And what I love about this is that usually we try to like cover up these feelings like jealousy is a really bad thing and we shouldn't you know like we shouldn't have that it's not healthy and i think it's actually such a helpful emotion because it really navigates it shows you so clearly what it is that you desire and that's what i love about this because i used to be much more insecure when i was younger and i was also dealing with a lot of envy and i really found out that it wasn't a bad thing that i was you know feeling envy it was actually a really it was trying to help me actually like pinpoint down what it was that I really wanted in my life. So I think that question has been extremely helpful for me. And when you do find a person that you really like feel jealous of and you you would really want their life, try to write down what like what is it in their life that you're jealous of? Is it their as I said, is it their health status? Is it the way that they take care of themselves or love themselves? Is it the fact that they live in a big, huge house at the beach, you know? It can be so many things and it can also be different things from different people. So try to write down a few people that you really are envious of. Even though you're not an envious person who has a lot of jealousy, then we all have that feeling in us and there will always be someone that you admire or look up to or something like that. The next question to ask yourself to help you figure out what you want, that is my favorite question and I actually got this from a book 
Um, I don't really remember which book it was, but I wrote down this question and the question goes, if anything was possible and you had no fear, you had all the money in the world, what would you spend your time doing? And I love this question so much because it really frees up for you to think limitless because often when we like write down our goals, we have so many limitations that comes in, but when you look at it this way and really think like fantasy almost so you write it down in this like fantasy mode like you could just have a magic wand and really just get anything you want that really pushes away all of the limitation and in that way you can truly see what it is that you want because you're not blocked by fear you're not blocked by money by time by any of the things that you normally have as excuses or as limitations. And yeah, again, I just love the playfulness of this, that you can really just imagine anything and really don't be afraid to dream big. So if anyone out there in the world has ever done what you're dreaming of, it's possible for you too. And usually getting your dreams isn't about having any special kind of talent or something different from other people. The only thing that's different from the people who actually get their dreams is the fact that they go after what they want they take action on their dreams and they never give up until they have reached their dreams so really take a pen and paper and write down what would you like health wise what would you like of relationship what kind of romantic relationship do you want do you even want one do you want children where do you want to live how does your dream home look what would you be wearing everything that you can think of write that down so yeah just really try to visualize your perfect dream life how does that look like so the next thing you can ask yourself is what are you doing when you lose track of time and hunger so something that really makes you like completely forget everything around you your basic needs all those things what do you find yourself so passionate and engaged in that those things fade away? For me, for example, time really flies whenever I'm dancing. I dance one time per week and it's for two hours each time. Um, right now it's only one hour because I lost my partner. So right now I'm trying to find a new one. But before I used to dance two hours a week and those two hours, I tell you guys, they would just fly by like this and it would literally feel like I've only been there for 15 minutes. That's the things that you're looking for. That's another good indicator of what it is that you should be doing that is the true you and the things that you really love. And then the last thing you can ask yourself is obviously what comes natural to you. What feels effortlessly to do for you? What is really easy and, you know, no resistance, like it's fun. Usually the small things that we don't consider to be anything ourselves, like if I would cook a really nice meal and you know make it look really nice and someone would give me a compliment like oh my god wow that looks so nice and i'd be like nah that's nothing that's exactly the things that are the gold here that's what you're looking for the things that come so natural to you that you think that anyone else can do it like you do but they actually can't and that is your gift that is the things that you want to look for it's not necessarily the big giant things like having a huge talent for something it's the small things that you do in the way that only you can do all right guys that was all of the questions to help you find out what it is that you want in your life i really hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was helpful um, i will be doing a kind of continuous video on this one because i want to go more into detail on how you can once you figure out what you want in your life to actually like design your dream life with all of the categories that are in your life so relationships your home your health the way you look everything so it's like a full circle like guide so that video will be up in not so long and another thing i just want to mention is another way to really get to know what it is that you want is to connect with your higher self or your true self and i actually made a video on that not so long ago so i will have that one linked down below in case you want to kind of see that first and then use this one and then you can kind of use the next one that's coming which is the um the designing of your dream life video it's like so poorly explained but i hope you get me so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching i will be up with another video in a couple of days again i think it will be on sunday 
probably. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.